Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. I left Pogo's rat there on the uh, windowsill so she could find it easier and I just stepped back to the other side of the room so I was out of her immediate range. And I'm over here feeding the Jameson Mambas that are in the lower cage there that you can't see right now. She definitely has trouble finding the right end to eat. I may have to go uh, assist her here in a second. can't see it, but one of these Jamies is reasonably accustomed to me, uh, to the point where we'll uh, take it off the forceps. trying to help this girl out. You do have trouble finding the uh, pointy end of the rat, don't you? Huh? Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Do I have to open its mouth for you, huh? Do I have to open its mouth and make its tongue stick out? Does that help, huh? Does that help? Here you go. She doesn't really like uh, the rat shoved on her face. snakes to feed there, girly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ogo is easily offended. Do your own thing there. Okay, so you ate one, you ate two. Right 
There you go. Good job. Jamies are still very shy, but they're coming along. Oh! You managed to figure that out. I might try to to tag a second one along with that. Choosing the other pair of Jamie's. could still sink a fang in me if she struck. Those are some hellaciously long fangs. She's fairly easy going, except when it comes to food and vacating her cage to get it cleaned. It's one of the few one, few cages in, in here that hasn't been cleaned on a regular basis, only because she gets really, really stressed out and uh, uh, it's just unbelievable. Now in that cage, we have Miss Mujanai. <laughs> who's another very dangerous creature to work with uh, because of her size and her voracious appetite. Oh my god, you savage! Wow! Hey Slink, do you want one? Slink had a bunch of chicks, but you may want a rat to finish it off. You want a rat? Huh? I'll give you a rat. Come on, come on, you got other things to do. Stop dawdling. Mr. Collette, there you go. There's something for you. One of the other Bothrops A trucks down below has got the rodent folded in half, which will make it more difficult to feed. Hi, Bucky, I see you. I'll take care of you in a little bit.
Oh, Janai, stop messing around with that and suck it down. It looked like you were going to try to eat it in one bite. To wait until uh, that cage door is closed because I'm not going anywhere near Miss Mooch and I with that cage door open. Uh, the female Lacourus uh, down in the bottom uh, is looking like she wants something to, you know, to eat. Even though I gave her a rat, she she doesn't seem to, to know where it is and I may need to hand it to her like I did uh, uh, attempt to do with uh, but Slinky, speaking of Slinky, what, you can't figure out that that rodent's there? Huh? Here. Do you want that or not? Come on, Slink. I wish I had the camera free to show you the uh, Slinky antics. It's just like, eat it, Slinky. It's not like I've ever given you a, a prey item in the wrong like, way to eat it. Huh? There it is. You fart around with it. Don't come to the window and beg when you got something in front of you. Okay, Miss Mujanai. Would you like another? to swallow when you're all coiled up like that, girly. You gonna give us a big uh, yawn? Would you like another? Huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess so, huh? Alright, I'll let you do your thing. Oh, it's unfortunate I missed his warm up. He does these uh, mouth exercises, sticking his fangs out and everything when he's considering to eat. And then we'll usually come over and pick it up uh, off the edge of the cage or the tongues. Are you going to eat or are you going to dud out at me? Huh? Are you going to eat or are you going to dud out? Huh? What are you going to do? He's a male. He's a very finicky eater. And I don't even know how old he is, but he's been around for a while. 
Come on, dude, have something to eat. Huh? Come on, you did your mouth exercises. Have something to eat. Uh, these are uh, painted saw scales, uh, uh, by the way. Oops, I saw a little tongue action. See, there he goes. This is what I was talking about. He does this uh, uh, fang-stretching, tongue-flicking sort of uh, process when he's interested in eating. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. He's a very funny snake. I have some very unusual operators here. You know, he's a very relaxed, easygoing sort of guy. Hi. How are you doing? I know. I see you. I see you. Hi. Are you going to grab that yourself or do you want me to hand it to you? Huh? Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you off. Come on. Come on. Oh, very nice. The eye nose fangs is one of the most potent killers of humans in the venom world. Saw scales wreak havoc on people all over the planet, even even though they're a relatively small snake. I mean, this is the largest saw scale I've ever seen, and according to uh, my friend Wolfgang Wooster, there's a population that, that gets this big, but most of them are are uh, rather small. Come on, dude. That's that's mom death adder. Uh, sorry, uh, saw scale. She doesn't eat anything dead normally. He's the only... Uh, he eats uh, s some uh, frozen thawed items. She is almost exclusively a live eater. Come on, dude! Come on. You are a finicky eater. You can be a real pain, huh? Come on. I should have let him sniff it. But sometimes you can't tell how they want it presented. Are you weirded out by the camera? Dad still hasn't decided to eat, but... But I think I can entice Mom to have a drink. Here we go. There we go. Now, one doesn't get this close to a normal saw scale. Please don't try this. I've had these guys for a very long time. And they're used to me hand watering them like this. I would not do this with the daughter back there under dad's uh, coil. She's a, a holy terror, even though, you know, I've had her since she hatched. Uh, these two produced uh, four eggs, two hatched. Uh, the male uh, did not make it uh, of his own accord. Uh, the female is just hell on wheels. And, uh, you know, mom is okay with me. I've worked with mom uh, quite extensively. You know, she's still quite dangerous, and I've seen what she does to a live mouse, so I don't want to get bit. But, 
you know, she's quite easygoing, doesn't see me as a threat, almost never saw scales. Oh, here comes Dad. Dad has a very stern look on his face. He's not quite sure what he wants to do today. Here's Mom with a very nice drink. Dad can just continue to go under the camera. There you go, Mom. That was a really good drink today, huh? Hi, Dad. What are you going to do? Huh? You see the camera as a threat? Huh? I guess Colorado's cam. Hey there, big guy. Come on and have something to eat. That's what I'd really like you to do. I'd really like you to have something to eat. Come on. Come on. Hi. Come on. Have something to eat. Oh, you're really thinking about having something to eat, aren't you? I was hoping to bulk him up a little bit because breeding season is coming and he's going to go off feed. There, huh? Yeah, that tongue gets in the way sometimes. You gotta be careful you don't bite that, huh? Hi, bud. Come on. Come on, have something to eat. Come on. Hi, Mom. Would you like a drink, huh? I bet you don't, huh? Bet you don't. Well, have a drink. Do you want more, Mom? Huh? Please, nobody play with Atkus like this. Uh, I hate to, to call it playing, but, uh, uh, you know. I much rather call it working with them. Did you get the uh, uh, substrate on your tail, huh? Come on, dude. Have something to eat. Have something to eat. I have to be wary of everybody in this cage, but I really have to be on guard for the daughter. Uh, she will bite with no provocation, like a true saw scale. Come on, dude. Okay, well, I'll leave that for you. I don't know what else to do. All right. <laughs>